Hello, I'm Amy Zavey with the Jerusalem Connection Report Friday Red Alert for June 17th. BDS exposed at the UN. This is good news this week. Jay Seklu, the Chief Counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice, together with Danny Dannon, the former Israeli ambassador to the U.S., current U um, Israeli ambassador to the UN, have been working together in partnership to bring to the UN some specific information and uh, movements or proposals for how to take action. In particular, um, Danny and Jay, if I may be so un informal, have last month at the end of May presented to the UN their case for how and why BDS is anti-Semitic and violates anti-discrimination laws at the UN level as well as the local level amongst free nations. BDS stands for Boycott, Divest, and Sanction, and it is a political and economic movement seeking to punish or penalize the nation of Israel for supposed policy, debate, issues, or questions. However, the reality is, is that BDS is anti-Semitic, it targets Jews worldwide, wide, and it often has nothing to do with any particular truth of the matter policy point or issue ongoing within the nation of Israel and with its neighbors. Jay and Danny, again, pardon my informality, presented four main strategy points to the UN. The first part was to expose BDS, BDS's true nature. That is, that it is not a legitimate human rights organization seeking to um, better the human rights or condition of the Palestinian people, but instead targets Israel and the Jewish people, demonizing them unjustly, and presents an unfair narrative of the situation in the Middle East. The second part of this strategy is to use existing law and policy against BDS measures, that is, existing anti-defamation laws, anti-discrimination laws, and human rights laws, and truth and journalism laws, to expose BDS and prosecute it when necessary for its uh, ill-conceived nature. The third part is to make sure that the existing laws and policies are updated and enshrined to truly be applicable to the Jewish people and the nation of Israel. This, incidentally, is already ongoing in the United States among many states. Twenty-seven state legislatures have passed or are in the process of passing legislation to outlaw BDS within their uh, state as some companies or actions they would engage in or use state money to engage in. These same laws are being shored up. Uh, proposals are both in the Senate and in the House with bipartisan support to update um, anti-discrimination and anti-boycott uh, laws against Israel that were penned in the 1970s when the Arab League attempted to boycott Israel. The fourth part is then to change the narrative about the nation of Israel, the narrative that the BDS movement um, attempts to disseminate and pass off as truth. The goal here is to use reason, logic, education, media outlets, all to bring forth the truth in the narrative and undercut the a false narrative that the BDS movement um, demonstrates and propels. So using the law, which is usually on the side of anti-BDS measures, as it's pretty obvious once it's applied uh, with care, and um, logic and reason with education and media outlets, um, Mr. Seklu and the Honorable Dannon are finding measurable results and progress. In fact, the American Center for Law and Justice has worked on many college campuses so far, making sure that administrations are careful to understand what activities are going on in their campuses and to uh, discipline or deny access to BDS measures and activities and movements that would violate um, human rights, freedom of information, freedom of expression, and of course anti-defamation laws and policies on campus. It's also an additional note that in May the New York State Legislature is now in the process of drafting and discussing anti-BDS legislation uh, amongst its ranks for state funds and for uh, state agencies not to engage in any businesses with businesses that um, participate in BDS actions. So that's some good news for June, June 17th, 2016. Shavuot Tov. Have a great week. Shabbat Shalom.